All right, on this episode of Bouks Talking Bouts, excited to be speaking to an individual who had quite the night there, winning two fights back to back, capturing that Ryzen Bantamweight Grand Prix title, doing so at Saitama Super Arena, Ryzen at 33, Hiromasa Ogi Kubo, getting a couple very, very impressive victories over Naoki Inoue and Kai Asakura, and happy to be talking to him on today's show. How's your day going so far, Hiromasa? We go with you. Yeah, so thank you, Dylan. Thank you for having me. Um, I feel great today. Um, and uh, ever since ever since that uh, that fight, um, I've been doing interviews, and I've been doing uh, celebration parties every day since. That's a pretty hectic schedule, celebration parties every single day since then? <laughs> yes, every day. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess there are multiple things to celebrate. I mean, I mentioned the Grand Prix title right off the bat, but I also wanted to wish you big congrats on the recent engagement. I imagine a lot of celebrating with that. Thank you very much. Just kind of curious with that, though. Like, was that something that was like a an idea for a while to have the proposal at the New Year's Eve show? I feel like you know the fighting would be nerve wracking enough for me. Like, I mean, to have something like that, I imagine would be compounding it. Like, how long was that idea to propose on New Year's Eve in the chamber for, as it were? そのアイディアはどれくらいからこう考えられていたんですかというのもやっぱりその試合のスケジュールですとかまあ一日に一試合も考えなきゃいけないというそのいろんなプレッシャーだったりいろいろと考えて用意する中この構造も思いつかにし
yeah, so when I was heading into the fight against Inoue, um, I put everything in, into that fight. So I didn't really think of uh, how to plan myself for the finals. There was no strategy going into the, uh, the semifinals. Um, the plan was to give my all for that fight. So after the win, I honestly was burnt out. I was satisfied with the win. And uh, the finals was about eight hours after that fight. So there was a, it was a constant battle between myself, uh, the satisfied myself, which is telling me that it's okay, I've done it, like, it's over. And my other self trying to push myself, get myself prepared for the finals that are going to happen eight hours ago. I mean, eight, eight hours from now. So, you know, going into the semifinals, I was going to think about what to do for the finals after I win. So there was really no strategy. And after the fight, it was a constant battle between myself. So really, the entirety of the tournament is more about just trying to beat yourself. Like, that's almost the main opponent, as cliche as that almost sounds like that. It's almost not about the two opponents in the ring. It's about trying to best yourself throughout the night. Is that a fair characterization? まあ、東京でですね。この1日に2試合をするっていうこのトーナメント方式、オンリーコブ精神にとっては、ま、井上選手と朝倉選手の戦いでもあったんですけれども、それよりもやはりこう自分との戦いが一番え、だったっていう風
ストーリーなんですが、大、え、泉、ー、選手の中で、そこをこう、まあ、朝倉選手に勝って、1対1に戻すと、そういった意識はありましたか、うん、このトーナメントの中で。1対1に戻すというか、そうですね、あのー、自分の思い描いてたストーリーは、井上直樹に勝って、朝倉海と決勝やって、えー、1年半前のリベンジをするっていう、それでもう完結するなと思ってたので、あのー、そうですね、あのーまあ、それは関係あるかなと思います、本当、それをモチベーションにしてました。Meet Asakura in the finals and then beating Asakura and redeeming, redeeming myself. And that, and that would be the end of my story. So,、um, you know, that's the vision I had heading into this fight. And、uh, I do think that, you know, that vision definitely helped、uh, with my performance. And there's such a rich tradition around Grand Prix titles. I've talked to some pretty prolific champions who actually value the Grand Prix belts over the lineal. Divisional championships. I'm kind of wondering if, is, if that's a sentiment that's shared here, whereby the Grand Prix title has that, like, I guess, supreme value, or if ultimately, you know, challenging for that belt Kyoji Horiguchi has and garnering that will be the ultimate capstone. I know, but in Japan, there's a Grand Prix, the Kakutogi Grand Prix, and there's a lot of people who are in the Grand Prix. え、あるんですけれども、で、まあ、選手、いろんな選手にインタビューしてきましたが、選手によっては本当にその、その年のグランプリの、えー、優勝のタイトルの方が、その階級のタイトルよりも、こう、重みがあって価値があるっていう選手もいれば、えー、当然その階級のチャンピオンでいると、というところに重きを置く選手もいるんですが、まあ、大井久保選手にとって、あの、どういうふうに思われるのか、そして、最終的には今、階級のチャンピオンである堀口選手とやることがモチベーションなのか、どそこの重きはどういうふうに置いてますかうん正直、優勝した時もあの嬉しかったんですけど、まあ、やっぱり頭の片隅に堀口選手の顔が浮かんできたので、あの僕の中では堀口選手を倒してあの、本当のチャンピオンになることの方があが価値は大きいです。だから今は堀口選手を倒すことを、えー、見ています。はい。So obviously winning the Grand Prix that moment was something very special, and I was extremely happy about it. But at the same time, I also saw an image of Horiguchi in my mind as I was as I was celebrating. So I think for me, the most important thing is to to redeem myself. By beating Kyoji Horiguchi. And、uh, that, that's, the, that's the most valuable thing for me right now. And、uh, that's, that's going to be my next goal. Yeah, and I mean, Horiguchi, someone he has that you know, competitive history with, as mentioned there, and just you know, getting the redemptive victory in the last one here. Does he feel like he has a fair bit of momentum? And I guess like, my question would be too, like, is there. I guess a level of enjoyment in getting those kind of opportunities whereby you've fallen short to a previous opponent, but you get to face them again and kind of see where your skills are at, see where the growth has kind of gone and everything like that. Well, I'm going to say, 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 I'm 勝ちたいという、本当単純にその気持ちだけです。Yeah, so, you know, I don't really、uh, feel a sense of joy at all. I mean, the, the reason why I want to face him is quite simple. It's because he's beaten me twice already. So, I, I, you know, the, the motivation is very simple. I want to beat the opponent who's beaten me twice. Yeah, and I'm kind of curious too because been a part of some, you know, hugely 
you know, important promotions in Japan, like Ryzen, obviously, but also promotions like Shudo, Ballet Tudo, Japan, like some of the earlier MMA promotions and a rich localized history. I'm kind of wondering if that's, you know, a historical appreciation shared by Hiro Masa there, like if he just kind of enjoys being a part of the promotional fold and just the overall legacy of promotions like that. え、え、Yes, I definitely do feel uh, grateful and uh, fortunate to be in the mix of this uh, this Japanese uh, MMA history because I've I've watched Pride and uh, growing up, and that's the reason why I decided to become a professional fighter, and that's the reason why um, I am here right now. And uh, oh, but as I turned pro. All the big shows uh, were not there. They were defunct. So I was fighting in Shuto, and I couldn't help but to think that maybe I'm just going to end my career here. I'm going to get buried without uh, without the big exposure and without being able to fight in a big crowd. And uh, that's what I was thinking as I was fighting as a professional. So, you know, I'm very happy that my career uh, lasted long enough so that, you know, me fighting on New Year's Eve on the big stage in front of a huge crowd and live on terrestrial television and getting all this exposure, you know, I can't help but to feel fortunate um, that my, my career lasted long to make it to where uh, it is today. Yeah, it's an amazing platform and great that that's a moment you've been able to have. But it was curious, you kind of mentioned in the context of the Shudo run that you thought maybe, oh yeah, fight here and then maybe hang it up thereafter. I was actually reading an interview done shortly after the last fight there talking about, oh, I've thought about hanging them up several times, just, you know, hanging up the gloves and everything like that. I'm kind of curious, like what ultimately keeps drawing Hiro Masa back to competing? I mean, like I've said multiple times where the grind of the sport has worn him down to the point where he's like, ah, you know, maybe hang him up at this point. Like what ultimately keeps bringing him back to competing each time?その、なんだろうな。悔しさじゃないですかね。一言で言うなら悔しいまま終われないというか、それが一番大きかったと思います。um it's I, I think to say in one word it's the sense of uh being mortified to a point where you can't I can't end here the the sense of 
uh, disappointment, being mortified after defeat, um, is I guess the the main reason uh, that I kept on coming back. Just like the pursuit of valor, glory of victory, that kind of mindset almost is that a fair way to phrase it? I suppose. まあその勝利への執念、執着心という感じですかね。そうですね。うん。なんだろうな。やっぱり自分が幸せになるというかためにはやはりうん勝つことしかないので、ね、負けた相手には勝つともう悔しくてく負けたままでは終われないのでそうですねやっぱり勝利への執着心ですかねはい。Yeah, it, it, in a way, you put it, you put it in a way,、um, I think you're right.、Um, it's, you know, in, in order to become happy,、um, you need to win. And、um, finishing with, with a loss is never, it's not something that you can, you can overcome. So you, the only way to overcome your loss is to, to,、uh, to, to beat that person. So I think, yes, the,、uh, the sense of victory. Um, is in a way、uh, correct. Happiness is definitely an important thing for sure. And to that point, I'm kind of wondering like, where Hiromasa finds happiness you know, outside of like, the training and diligent lifestyle of being a fighter. Obviously, a lot of you know, time goes into that and everything. But I'm wondering if there are any like, outside hobbies to kind of decompress or things that he's interested in. まあ、今、ユーゴ先生、幸せについて、勝利が幸せにつながるというふうにおっしゃったんですが、こう格闘技以外のところで、荻窪選手がこう幸せを感じる瞬間というか、あの趣味だったりとか、リラックスする、格闘技以外の部分でのアクティビティはどのような趣味を持ってらっしゃいますか。趣味か、趣味は、まあ、ギターを弾いたり。するのが趣味なんですけどでもなんだろうなやっぱり家族とかとこう、うん、楽しく楽しくというか、うん、何事もなく幸せに暮らしてる時が一番幸せを感じますやっぱり負けた時とかはそれを感じられないので勝って家族と楽しく過ごしてるときに一番幸せを感じるかもしれないです。うん、趣味になってないんですけど、すいません。はい、大丈夫です。はい、大丈夫です。はい。So um, as as far as a hobby goes, like I I like to play the guitar and sing. Um, so that's a hobby. But uh, you know when I when when I think about happiness, um, it's the moment that it's I feel happiness when I'm spending time with my family. Just that peaceful time with the family after a win. And that's, that's where I find the most peace and joy in myself. Obviously, even if I'm spending time with my family in the same peaceful time, it's not the same after a loss. So, you know, I think that's where I feel the most、uh, joy and happiness in, in my life. Oh, well, that's really cool. That resonates with me as someone who's very close with their family and also plays guitar and sings. But I'd be kind of curious to get some more details on that. Like, is Hiro Masa like, in a band or anything like that? Is he writing like, original songs or is it more just like, kind of like learning covers and stuff like that? Like, what's the guitar playing and singing oriented to more so? あのすみません自分もギター弾いたりあの歌を歌うんですけどもすごくそういう部分で共有感できるというか<笑><笑>ちょっとそこ突っ込みたいんですけどウィーゴ選手ってこうバンドに入ったりとか歌を作ったりとかされてるんですか、はい、それともまあ普通に弾いてカバーだったり自分なりにこうアレンジしたりするのか、はい、どういった感じでギターを音楽に携わってるんですかあもう本当に一人で弾くあの好きな歌手がいるんで吉田拓郎っていう、まあ、その人の曲を。一人で弾くのが楽しいですね。その人になりきって弾くのが。<笑>はい
Uh, so um, there's uh, I'm not in a band or anything. I just play by myself. But there's this one particular singer that I admire. And uh, actually, I use his song for my walk-up music as well. But uh, me playing the guitar, singing his songs, pretending to be him is, is when, I, when I feel is what I enjoy doing. His name is uh, Takuro Yoshida. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad that there's that passion and enjoyment. And I'll have to, you know, check out the song with a closer ear now. I didn't know there was that connectivity to it. But Hiromasa has been really great with his time. And I want to be mindful of his busy schedule and let him, you know, get back to the party and, and all that. So is there anything he wants to add as a parting thought as we're wrapping things up here? あの、いいご選手、お忙しいなんか今日すごく時間取ってもらって、あの、本当に嬉しいので、もうそろそろ終わり、終わりにしたいと思うんですが、あの、最後に何かあの、いいご選手の方からこう、読者だったり、に伝